Hello, today I want to show how you could expand the community beyond the Hucola site. It's already the community is already bigger than the site and there is a need to create more sites and there is an impulse to create more sites. So let's create more sites and more uh, places where we can meet together. Uh, one place obviously is uh, Skype. So there is a community on Skype. It's called Hugo Questions Forming and ask people and they can add you there. Sabrina would be maybe appropriate person to ask. So uh, there is an independent community in Skype which is created by someone else and it's it's active. And you can create more groups and communities in Skype and you would have control who is there. Uh, there is a community in um, in uh, Google Chat. So that's Gmail and that's uh, Hangouts thingy, uh, plugin I would say. And if you click on the Hucola One, if you are a member of Hucola One, you would be seeing that sort of chat and people chat here and invite others to chat. So this is also independent and there is uh, there are multiple multiple chats and you create more of those. Now there is a Facebook community and it's Hucola group channeling. So I invite you to, to create as a, as groups to create more of those communities and representations of the communities on the web. Now what is so nice about a WordPress type of site? First, it's easy to create and handle and it's it can be free or very cheap, but it can be free. Uh, and second, it has a place, a permanent place, which is sort of organized. It has a menu and it has a blog where people can blog and things of that sort. So there is activity there and you can create uh, post thing, things there. And also it's important that membership is sort of, people have to be members to, to post here. So you have pretty nice control of what is posted and uh, there is a way of uh, organizing on the site. So there are, I invite you to create more sites for our community. Now I will show how to do that. I believe you have to go, there are free WordPress sites at uh, wordpress.com. Let me, let me try, wordpress.com. I have created them in the past. So create your web, new website for free. See, it's so easy. So let's try doing that. Enter your new site address. So I'll create a practice site and I would call, call him hucolo9. So you can create hucolo1 or hucolo there. Create website. That's easy. Okay, email address and it's max at humancolony.org username say max mm, stain work okay password I will pause here. okay I enter the password and blog address it would be the site address will be hucola9 at wordpress.com it is free okay and if you wish then to be to create it convert it into this address then you pay $18 per year and you have a domain and you have a WordPress site which I think is a it is a great deal and the comparison so we do free one comparison what can you do so create blog Ta-da! set up your blog tagline this is just hmm. All you need is love. All right. Next step. Mm, theme. Oh, there is lots of themes. Some of them are dark. Some of them are light. I'll keep the default. It's decent. Actually, it's pretty good. It's it's a nice name. Twenty thirteen. I really like it. It's a default. It's kind of less buggy. Customize it. Uh, header, blah, blah, blah. 
images you can play with that you can change colors do multiple things but I will keep it default for now share your blog we'll keep it silent for now next step uh, verify mm. hold on a second I will verify it okay I received the email with a confirmation link I click on that link it sends me to this page and then I go to hucolon 9 at wordpress.com dot wordpress.com which is the site we just created and here is that site and it's right now empty but um, so we are already, I'm already logged in so I can start creating the posts um, and that's about it um, get started your first port get started here and uh, this is my test post but this site is already created and now it's just up to you to create stuff here and invite more users and make it your home so this is just a test blah blah and let's make it a little bigger so I'll do more as hmm, what is a publish save draft uh, should be publish button. Oh, it still wants me to update my address. Just a second, I will check it. Okay, there was a problem with my email and I fixed it by redoing everything. So now we are at the site which is called Hucola 8 and I'm posting the post and here is a publish button because I'm now logged in and my email is confirmed. But all is working fine, so I publish it. Okay, view post. So now the post is posted here. We have, you see, on Hucola site, I do, uh, on this site, we have three columns and we have uh, a menu here and we have the posts, the, the blog right here and uh, have tons of extensions and tons of plugins uh, installed but major general functionality is is here you have the same blog and multiple users can blog here you have one column and you have menu contains only one item about so then you have to grow it and it's pretty easy you go to dashboard and you can create posts which is a temporary entry and there is pages which is more permanent so you can add new and you can add plugins and talk to me and Slava and play with the plugins lots of nice things can be done but but the basic functionality is here so your blog is live and uh, that's about it so it's here you can just click on it and see it and it's addressed as Hucola 8 and you can post stuff here and change colors fonts and everything else and grow the community in the future we will find a way to share users between the different WordPress sites we already know the technology it's we are just limited with manpower to set it up it's not that difficult but it takes time and commitment if something goes wrong we have to fix it on the fly uh, and uh, also with limited with uh, speed and money basically we I'm afraid that if we have too many sites and too many users it will slow down so right now we are not ready but we will get there right now if we create a site we possibly will be able to uh, make the, it possible for users from Hucola site to travel between multiple sites and uh, they will have different functions, different um, appearance and different themes. Uh, that's all I wanted to say now so in 10 minutes I kind of guided you through creation of a WordPress site. What's nice about WordPress you don't have to code anything. Uh, in a, in this site we basically almost don't code anything everything is done through the dashboard and through creating just menus 
setting up a theme you can change a theme at once just change the theme and it reapplies to the same content on the site and uh, doing the plugins and the plugins are installed very easily so you say add new plugin you search for specific plugins and uh, and then you just say activate and these are our installed plugins let me see installed plugins you have about 20 or so and some of them can be activated deactivated it's pretty user friendly so so you activate the login deactivate the login and so say an audio player you want to play music so you add the plugin and you have settings you can activate deactivate that's about it so it's uh, WordPress is uh, quite user friendly it take and you edit everything on the fly on the site so you can edit the posts on the site on the fly and you create new administrators uh, register users and do things of that sort uh, good luck with the creation of WordPress sites and uh, remember it's not only technical part you it's easy to create the site but then you have to populate the site so I would suggest you do first you assemble a team who wants to create their own site at least two people at least two people and then you keep well, after you created it keep actively inviting people to join the site uh, by email through personal bonding so find people who would uh, make the site live and uh, a nice place to be and hang around uh, that is about it uh, have fun goodbye